Hello everyone, my name is Paulo Alves and on this video series we'll be building a web app for expenses control from scratch using Angular for the front end, Nest.js for the back end and Firestore as the database. On the previous videos we created an Angular app, we put it on GitHub and we added it to Firebase hosting, so it is already live on the web. Today we'll use Google Cloud Services in order to deploy automatically to the web anytime we push a change to GitHub, which is a practice called continuous delivery. So alright, what's the problem that we want to solve in this video? Every time I want to publish a version of my app to the Google, to the Firebase hosting, I need to do some steps. Like, so I make a change, so let's make any change here. Um, expenses control test. I'll change just the title. It's a simple and off change. I need to run the command npm run build. This will build my project and it will put all the build files here in a folder called dist. Let's wait until it finishes. Done. It's here. And now I will need to run the, the command firebase deploy. This command will copy all these files and it will put it there on Firebase hosting after it finishes. So it's finished. You can see here it's expenses control. If I refresh the page, it changes to expenses control test. So right now this doesn't seem like a burden because I'm basically just running two commands, npm run build and Firebase deploy. And then I have all my changes published on the web. But in the near future, we also run a different, we also run different commands like npm test, npm run test, so it will run all the automated tests, the unit tests of the web, of the app. We can run also end-to-end -end tests, and then it will become a burden to always run these commands on the same uh, order and then publish the app, right? So what we are gonna now automate is this. And this, and this practice is called continuous delivery. Continuous delivery basically automates the entire process to release a software, right? That's what we wanna do it in this video. So every change that is committed will trigger an automated flow that will build, um, will test, and then publish, deploy the app, updated here on our Firebase, host, Firebase hosting uh, URL. Okay, so let's start doing it with Google Cloud. And what is Google Cloud? It's basically a collection of cloud computing services like compute and storage, uh, database, analytics, machine learning, and so on. It ensures fast and reliable performance for our users and for our projects. So first thing you need to do is to create an account. Now to come here to the cloud cloud.google.com and go to your console. So the, in, there will be a few steps that you will, you will need to do it yourself. Like you need to add some information about yourself. You need maybe to uh, add credit card uh, information, but don't worry because uh, for small projects, at least this will be free or basically free. We need to use it really a lot to start paying something. So let's start doing the continuous delivery, as I said. In order to do this, the first thing I need to do is to create a new project. So let's create a expenses, expenses control app project. All right, it already exists actually because it's integrated with my Firebase. So let's just select it. Okay, now I'm in my expenses control app and I will search for the Google Cloud Build, Google Cloud Build project. That's the one we use in order to implement the continuous delivery. So here I need to enable it. Just click on this button. I have to enable enable billing also. This is a required action. Um, so I have already a billing account. I'll set this account and that's it. After some seconds, it will be enabled. And you can see here the price, right? So. Um, we have after, we only need to pay if we use this for more than 120 minutes a day for building. And basically to build a, 
an app for the front end this app here it will take to do the whole process maybe like four minutes so we would need to do a lot of builds per day in order to start paying less than one cent all right per minute so okay so we have the google build enabled let's manage this manage it all right it's not here um i will find it here more products here we have at some point the google build cloud build where is it of here cloud build let's go to the dashboard first thing i need to do is to set up some build triggers i'll click on this button we'll come to this page and then we'll set up our first trigger so what is a trigger i'll basically say when i want to run the cloud build after something happens right and this something will be a uh, push to the main uh, to the main branch of our repository. So let me close this. Um, I'll just give it a name. So Angular front end, maybe something like this. Um, front end Angular. Okay. And I don't need to inform anything else. Uh, so I want this event. I want the build to happen every time I push. I do a push to a branch. So here first I have to inform which repository I want Google Cloud Build to be watching and I need to connect to a repository. So let's do this. I'll connect to a repository on GitHub. There are many options. I'll click continue. Here I have to authenticate. Um, you basically be redirected to GitHub and you have to put your email and password. I already have that. So I'll use my account, not this other one and i'll select the repository which is angular expenses control angular all right i'll select it i'll just mark this checkbox and connect to it cool so i'll select my repository um, this build will be triggered every time i have a push to a branch and the branch will be the main branch and now i have to do some configuration right i need to where is it? Um, I need to do some configuration. I need to inform how this build is gonna happen. And in order to inform this, I will use cloud build, a cloud build configuration file. Um, it's a YAML file. And I will inform that this YAML file that we'll create soon will be in the pipelines folder with the name build.yaml file, okay? We'll create, the, we'll create this file uh, soon don't worry all right so let me see we will need some variables also but okay all right so let's create this file so first thing i need to do is to create a folder the folder will be called pipelines as i put it here and i will have a file called build.yaml file so we we'll use this file to inform cloud build how what steps it needs to do in order to create a build, right? So basically we'll tell it how to do the NPM run build and the Firebase deploy and also other stuff that are necessary. So I already have a file that I created some time ago um, for another project and I'll copy the code of this file and paste it here and explain it to you. So this is uh, a YAML file. We have some steps which tell how Google Cloud will build our project. First, we basically need to install uh, the Firebase CLI. Basically, that's what this is doing. And then we'll, we'll run npm install using node version 16.10. So this npm install, it's responsible for creating this uh, folder node modules and installing all the libraries that our app our project needs in order to run the next step that we are gonna run is an npm run build which is just this one that I uh, executed to create the dist file all right distribution not file folder after that we are gonna authenticate to firebase um, this we will need a token in order to do this and we'll get this token soon then we'll inform to which firebase hosting we want to do that deploy so this target will apply for hosting and using 
the project that we have, that we built, and also the token that we are gonna get soon for Firebase. And then finally, it will deploy our project. It will deploy the code in the dist folder to Firebase hosting, and we'll be able to see it here, okay? So that's what this is doing. But we also need something else um, for this first step here. We need, we are gonna use Docker in order to install Firebase, the Firebase CLI. And then, uh, yeah, we need to create this folder structure with uh, a file, a Docker file. So I'm not gonna go into Docker here. You can read about it and maybe you can talk about it in another video some other day. So let's do this step here. So in order to do it, I'll create a new folder called Docker files. Inside of this folder, I'll create a new folder called Firebase. And inside of the Firebase folder, I'll create a new file called Docker file. That's it without any type, okay? So I also have some code here that I'm gonna copy and paste for another project. I'm basically telling Docker that I'm gonna use node version 16.10 then I'm telling Docker to run uh, npm install minus g globally, Firebase tools, and then I'll use this as the entry point. So again, I'm not gonna go into Docker. Let's just save this. Um, you can read about Docker later or maybe in another video. And now we have almost everything we need in order to have our build, okay? We only need uh, to set up this, uh, these parameters here. We need a Firebase project ID, um, these variables, and we need also a Firebase token. So we are gonna configure these two variables here. First one is Firebase project ID. The second one is Firebase token. So the Firebase project ID we already have is this one. This is the ID of our project. Um, we also can see here, if we come to the Firebase console and then we go to project settings, you can see the project ID right here, okay? So um, let me put it there. And also now I need a Firebase token. So how do we get this token? This is pretty simple also. In order to get this Firebase token, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come here to the terminal and I'm gonna type the command Firebase login double dot ci that's basically this i'll type enter in my other screen is just showing the list um, it's just telling me to do a login let me show you i'll choose my email that i'm using for this i will allow it all right the login is successful with the cli so now i have the token which is right here so i'm gonna copy this token i'm gonna paste it here and now we have everything we need um, notice that I'm hiding part of it for security issues, right? You should not just leave it uh, to everyone to see it, the token. But if you do these steps, you get your own token and everything will be fine. So I think the configuration is this one. Um, so I'll create this trigger. So, all right, the next thing we need to do is just to publish something. So as you could see, uh, when I created the, the trigger, I'm expecting that a trig the trigger will be run every time I commit something to the main branch. So let's do this. All right, I have some stuff here to commit to, to push actually. Um, let me make a change here also from expenses control, expenses control angular, oh, angular. Okay, that's uh, when the build is completed, we have Angular written here on the top. So I will commit all of this. Let me just check it. Okay, I'll commit all of this. I will put the message continuous deployment with Google build. Is it Google build? Cloud build, cloud build, cloud build. Um, this is the commit without coming with two comments on the terminal and then I'm just gonna push the changes All right, so this should trigger this cloud build. Let's go to history and here you can see um, It trick that change triggered this 
uh, built here. And then you can see the status and um, it's running. So let's see what's happening. Six steps here that this will do. First, we'll install Docker. Um, we'll install Firebase CLI, I mean. Then it will run a npm install. Then it will run an npm run build. Then it will it will add the credentials to the Firebase using the token. Then it will target the Firebase hosting, this Firebase hosting that I have right here. Okay, so it will run a deploy here and we'll see a new version here after that has ended. So let's just wait. All right, that's it. It worked, the build run successfully. Um, you can see that deploy is complete. If I go back to my app and hit the refresh button, we can see that Angular is now showing here, which was the change that I did to the index.html file. Cool, so now we have the project created using Angular, we have it on GitHub, and we have continuous deployment using Cloud Build. It's a pretty good start. I think for your next project, you should start like this, create a project, put it on GitHub, and then put it live so your users can already see something, that something is happening. That's really good also for, it's a agile thing, right? It's a, an agile thing, it's good for the users to see that there is some progress already happening in the first few minutes of the project or in the first few hours, let's say. And on the next video, we will actually start building this. We will start building the logging page. Um, we'll work only on it for some time. And then we'll finish. When we finish the logging page, we go to the register page. Then when we finish the register page, we go to the home page and so on. It's page by page that we're going to build everything, all right? So all the links that you need for this video are gonna be on the first comment and together with our Discord server invite. So just join the Discord server and let's chat. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your comments below and see you on the next video.